Picking up from the last two Voltage Control Lab videos, let's have a look at how we can generate some drum sounds from inside of the Roland Ira Modular effects units. We discussed how to make a basic kick drum sound in a modular system using the Sputnik oscillator, and how to build a synth voice inside of the Roland Ira Customizer app. So let's put these ideas together and build a drum synth voice inside of the Ira FX modules. First, let's build a synth voice similar to the one we built in the last video. We'll add an LFO, an amp, and an ADSR envelope to the virtual modular. Connect the output from the LFO to the input on amp 1, and connect the output from amp 1 to the main IRA FX module output. Now route the envelope CV output to both the AMP1 CV input and the LFO rate mod input. Route GRF5 to the envelope gate in and set the envelope sustain to 0% and decay to 50%. We can route a trigger or gate to the CV input for GRF5, or press the GRF5 button on the IRA module. When we do, we should get a noisy percussive sound. If we change the wave shape on the LFO, the tone will change, as well with some tuning of the LFO mod in and rate knobs. This sound can start to get into the realm of a kick drum. Try the wave shape knob on a sine wave, the mod in knob at around 11 o'clock, and the rate knob somewhere from 1 to 3 o'clock. This seems like a good range to start with a kick drum. When the envelope is triggered, it enters its attack phase. Since attack time is set to zero, the output signal jumps to 100% as soon as a trigger is received. The envelope proceeds immediately to the decay stage, which starts a decrease in signal over time, in this case affecting pitch and volume. Much like the sound of a real kick drum, where the strike from the beater hitting the drum head creates a higher pitched, quick attack followed by the decaying lower frequency reverberation of the large drum, the synthesized kick attempts to follow the same principle using the short envelope. From here we can follow the same steps we just used to create a noise based snare drum in the remaining virtual slots. Add a noise generator and another envelope and route both noise outputs to the AMP2 input, setting one noise generator to pink noise. Route GRF6 to the envelope gate in, and connect the envelope CV out to the AMP2 CV in. Set the envelope sustain to 0% and decay to 50% once again. Finally, make sure AMP2 is routed to the main output 1. Now we can use the GRF6 button or CV input to trigger the snare as well. We can also route our drums into the main effects in the customizer and connect the main inputs to apply effects to the drums or any other signal we route to the input. I also prefer to put a filter between the effects output and the main output so the filter is independent of the effects. Let's assign our other GRF knobs. Try assigning GRF3 or 4 to the LFO wave shape or filter cutoff knobs. Make sure any unassigned FX parameters in the software are zeroed out, like the pitch and filter on the scooper. Remember, these are just starting points. With minimal tweaking, these settings will lead to all kinds of different drum sounds. What kind of beats are you making with your IRA modular drum synth? Let us know in the comments or show us in a video. And remember to like and subscribe as well as follow us on Twitter. Enjoy your beats!
Want to learn more about oscillators, envelopes, and modular synthesis? Check out our courses at voltagecontrollab.com.